live in a world of endless possibilities, a world filled with so many things to see and do. We'd be lost without our freedom to choose what we want to do, how and when and where. Here at the Walt Disney World Resort, the ways to make our own kind of magic seem endless. Here there are exciting worlds within worlds, a whole universe of sights and sounds waiting to capture our hearts, our minds, our imaginations. What's your pleasure? Maybe it's Pleasure Island itself and its wonderful assortment of comedy and magic. Or Typhoon Lagoon, the absolute ultimate in water theme parks. Or maybe your choice is the enduring enchantment of the Magic Kingdom. Or maybe you prefer the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, Epcot Center for short. Perhaps this is more to your liking, a visit to Spaceship Earth as you've never experienced it before. Or a closer look at our world of motion, where you'll discover why the future of transportation is here. If you like, you can look into our land, our living seas, our universe of energy. Or maybe you'd rather take a journey into imagination. Or travel beyond today's horizons to lifestyles of the 21st century. Or how about a friendly get-together with some of our global neighbors in a glittering world showcase setting? You name it. Canada, Mexico, Germany, China, France, Norway. They may be continents apart, but they're only moments away in this international corner of Epcot Center. On the other hand, maybe your dream wish is to step back into Tinseltown of the fabulous 30s and 40s. Hollywood come to Florida at the new Disney MGM Studios theme park. It's no surprise that wherever you turn, the choices that await you are, well, they're as different as the people who make them. Go ahead, pick your favorite. My favorite thing is the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. I like Space Mountain Mountain because it's scary. We've gone on the pirate, the Caribbean pirate. That was good. Mm. The teacup. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. I probably liked France. I love China. It's beautiful. I love the food. The food was fantastic, and so were the performers. My favorite thing is probably just being with the family in this area. It's very nice. The Magic Kingdom is a lot of fun, and it's something that makes you feel like you're a kid again. But this is something that sort of stimulates your, your mind as well as just having fun. First place I want to go to is I always start with the sphere, and then I go General Motors. I would recommend the people to come to the World of Motion, yes. I think Captain EO was my favorite thing. I especially like the, the, the environment of the people. Everybody seems to be relaxed and getting along and smiling. Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. We love Mickey Mouse! What kind of land is this anyway? Well, it's a magic kingdom, no matter how you look at it, from top side down or bottom side up, from inside out or outside in, in a teacup or in a tropical rainforest, with someone you know or someone you'd rather not. Everywhere you turn, there's always something new to discover in the seven lands of the Magic Kingdom. Starting here in Adventureland, where you'll soon be courageous enough to take a cruise down the tropical rivers of the world. Or, ready for this? Join the Pirates of the Caribbean. See how easy it is? And the going gets easier as you travel to other adventures in Frontierland and nearby Liberty Square from the Hall of Presidents in Liberty Square to the timeless land of enchantment known as Fantasyland, we're reminded again that here and everywhere in the Magic Kingdom, 
It's a small world after all. It's party time over in Mickey Land. And even though Mickey's 60th birthday is now history, the fun-filled celebration rolls on. Just a short distance away, in Tomorrowland and the exciting atmosphere of Space Mountain and space travel, there are even more surprises waiting for those of us who are definitely not the faint of heart. Hold on, it's time for liftoff. No dream flight to the outer limits of our imagination would be complete without a down-to-earth visit to the Main Street Electrical Parade. 30 floats, 100 performers, and a million sparkling lights. many other lands of entertainment and enchantment to explore. And since we're completely free to visit any or all of them, how about taking a stroll down one of the most famous and remembered streets in the world, Hollywood Boulevard, straight out of the past. Looks like the real thing, doesn't it? So does everything else at the new Disney MGM Studios theme park. Well, almost everything. Yes, going behind the scenes is all part of the fun when you're visiting this newest star of the Walt Disney World Resort. If you'd like a change of scenery, you might decide to relive scenes of movie classics on the Great Movie Ride. Yes, the world of television and movie making can be a fascinating one. But what world isn't when you're enjoying the freedom to explore and discover, whether you're close to home or trekking through the World Showcase along the southern rim of Epcot Center. And what a show it is. To enter, the only passport you need is your own sense of discovery and good taste. So come on, the whole world is waiting.
Exploring the nations of World Showcase is only half of the Epcot Center adventure. The other part comes with an open invitation to travel beyond today's world, to Future World, a here and now celebration of the 21st century. Here to amaze, inform and entertain us, and waiting to dazzle us now. In fact, over 25 million guests a year come here just for the fun of it. So hang on everybody, here comes the 21st century. Getting around in our world of motion is what this popular future world attraction is all about. Whether it's the history of transportation or the future of transportation, it's here and everybody has a favorite. I thought it was, uh, it was done very well, it was very educational. It's nice the way they take you through the, uh, the funny side of it first and then bring it into the educational side after. I think that's a good idea. I thought it was great. It was really entertaining. I liked all the caricatures and showed you the history of the vehicles. And uh, it was really good, and the kids liked it too. I like going through the tunnel, actually, with all the lights and everything, and the cars at the end. They are beautiful. <laughs> well, I like the idea of what's happening in the future. My favorite part was the uh, public transportation of the future and also the automobiles of the future. The new concept cars that they have now, they're very interesting. It's just fun. It's you know, a lot of different things and a lot to see. There's something for everybody here. Something for everybody. Today we've come to expect, even demand, variety in almost everything that affects the quality of our lives. The history of transportation here at the World of Motion shows how people throughout the ages have searched for and found better ways to get from here to there. As transportation technology improved, they found they wanted more than the freedom to travel. They wanted to travel in style and vehicles reflected their personal taste in design, engineering power, safety, performance, and durability. In the World of Motion Trans Center, we go beyond the present and look at the future of transportation. It takes more than imagination to dream up a new engine or a new design to catch the eye. It takes the experience and insight of knowledgeable observers to foresee the vehicles, the technologies, and the transportation systems that will be appropriate for the future. General Motors, the world's largest automobile company, is proud of its continuing role in the history of transportation. We're proud of the imaginative ways we're extending the freedom of choice in personal transportation products to people on the go everywhere. We're listening to our customers to be sure we meet their needs while adding the excitement of the future. With more than 80 years of transportation experience, General Motors understands the world of motion past, present, and future. And we're proud of that too. Now we invite you to join us in an exciting, informative, and entertaining world that offers something for everybody. A world of motion where you're completely free to make your own magic. Riding through the history of transportation in 14 and a half minutes sounds like a real trip. And it is. But where do we begin? Well, considering all of the possibilities, why not here, in an ancient trading center, where animal power has definitely replaced foot power? But the wheel has yet to be invented. What the invention of the round wheel has led us to is, well, come on along and see for yourself.
those wonderful, wonderful dream machines. They were classics then, and they're classics now. And look at the ground we've covered in just a few minutes. We've gone from camels to convertibles, from paddle wheels to steering wheels, from horsepower to a lot more horsepower. And just when you think you've seen it all, there's the World of Motion Trans Center. If you've ever wondered how the arts and sciences of design, engineering, and manufacturing are combined to create new ideas, this is the place to be. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, General Motors is proud to present the one, the only, Buddy. Unlike Mr. Bird, our talkative toucan, ask the designers of future transportation what they think, and they'll do more than tell you. They'll show you. Dreamers Workshop, a transcenter showcase for the products of the imagination. Given the freedom to look at and into the future from any perspective, to start where conventional wisdom and traditional limitations end, designers and engineers blend imagination with experience and draw some startling conclusions. You can use your imagination too. Just picture yourself in any one of these prototype dream machines. Yes, the future of transportation is here today at the World of Motion Trans Center. The future of transportation is also here in tomorrow's world of motion, a more distant time and place with forms of transportation we can only imagine today. Yet it's only by challenging the unknown, by daring to anticipate, test and evaluate what might lie ahead, that we will continue to have choices. Choices that will give us the personal freedom to make our own kind of magic. Hmm, can you imagine that?